Hello everyone, welcome back to Amnesia Part 3. Um, I, I have quickly um, recorded another one after I ended the last episode since I have a little or I have a limited time in regards to um, recording since I'm working full time now. So in order for me to um, make more videos, I have to uh, make another one after that one. So this is Amnesia Part 3 and as I have uh, reviewed the last episode, I, uh, I can see that or I can hear that Daniel's voice um, is very uh, low or silent. So I need to turn up or bring up the volume, turn up the volume in order for us to completely hear the footsteps and everything alongside the the game so let's continue um from the last episode we uh dropped down from a trap door from the refinery and there's we're walking here now on a corridor to these archives um so yeah Whoa. Okay, it's filled with water. Water? What? What? What the hell is that? That is very concerning. Oh, 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 oh. What? Okay, all is good. It's going after me. Perfect. We're in some sort of a platforming contraption. Whatever. Ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> I want this bleeding quite badly. Perfect. Okay. Damn it. Okay, we could not just walk around. Okay, this is very concerning. A little bit. I'm adjusting the volume in my headset because it's kind of or it's very loud since I've adjusted the music but for you it's gonna be perfectly fine because OBS is helping with the mix of the volume or whatever oh it's a time system Barely conscious. Oh my god. This is hard. Shoot. I couldn't even grab the boxes. Ah. I am barely conscious. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're healing back So we, we just need time to heal back But we couldn't stay in one place Okay Latin, perfect Perfectly placed from the world ah no grabbable stuff are you kidding okay go perfect
This is very. Gather books. Throw it as far as I can to distract the guy. Because I don't have enough oil. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I don't know if I'm crouching or not because it's giving me a hard time or I'm being very very slow. Keep out of the water. Okay, perfect. Thank you for letting me know ahead of time. <laughs> okay, we have to do that again. Okay, so basically if we die, all of the used items are you? Okay, stop crouching. Remember, not CSGO. It's unworth it to crouch. French, 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 French. French, 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 French. Sprint. Sprint. Don't crouch. Sprint. Sprint like your dep life depends on it. Oh, there's another one. Are you? <sighs> Press. Okay, did he hit us? No, okay. So we died once. It's basically fine. Okay, before we throw the arm, we need to know where we're going. Oh, he right. He's right there. Okay, I need to go here to there. Okay, perfect. Let's throw the torso right there. Wait for him to reach it. Oh, he's sleeping. Perfect. Oh, I see! We need to give him a lot to eat. Okay, not that, not that. Come on, 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 come on. <laughs> Stress. Stress moment. <laughs> that is really 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 stressful oh shoot simple luck what ah it's luck with the simple luck what do you mean okay it's not over it's over I thought it was over. Like, <sighs> I don't. I didn't want to die again because you know, I wanted to you know for the run to be um, as you know smooth as possible. Oh shit! Water again. I don't know if crouching on water helps because you know it reduces the sound. Maybe who knows? Say, where is he? Where is he? 
Where is he? I'm stuck in the door. in the end oh my god I, as I've said I played this like five years or eight years ago I didn't remember that the stress the amount of stress in that one Whew. holy okay whoa that door open it forces my mouse to you know Oh, I see. Uh, I remember. This is a safe space, like a hub, right? Uh, remember the hallway from the refinery, the laboratory, the wine cellar, and the archives? It's like that one. This is a hall, again, and a safe space. So, pretty much the hub, again, of the entire... or of the entire what I thought it's like a different stage now so we're we're done with the first stage you have an ascending room will it take us to the inner sanctum it will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey so you have ridden an elevator before yes the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one it takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. It's going down. Okay. Lion. So we do. We do. I think we did. We don't need to uh, use the lamp here. It's a safe space, I guess. Machine room is locked. Let's read the mementos. Mementos. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. You can do that. It's not work. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. I guess it's in the machine room. Okay, there's the trail of uh, the liquid trail. Continues. Okay, so that's the place where we need to go what is this though a human oh what was that oh I can touch the water I don't know what's happening. It, there's the hand sign that I, uh, indicates that I can grab something on the water, but I guess it's nothing. Okay, here's a chest here. Proves me wrong that I that there's no loot here. Ah, forgive me if I am assuming everything because it was it was very stressful running away from that water monster it, it feels like it never ends with the study gas room mm -hmm. we so the reason I was very slow on the jumps okay, what is this it's the storage okay. the reason I was very slow um, on the jumps is I was trying to crouch because in CSGO you have to crouch when you land into a specific area in order to complete the jump or to not mess up the jump right? I was doing it with it here however uh, crouching here is 
unlike CSGO. If, if you let go of the control key, you remain on crash. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? So I'm guessing this is where we stayed. While we're a humble guest of Alexander. Okay, so back what I, where I was, uh, you know, defending myself in regards to the mistakes I have done in the past, uh, you know, hunt of the water monster. Um, so, in here, the crouch button is stuck on, so, not holding. You, it's like an on, on and off thing. You have to let it go. Okay, no, no, never mind that. Let's continue. Okay, oh, we can open this up. What's this? Nothing. Couldn't. Okay, nothing. Okay, I need to search everything. So, what the hell? Oh, crowbar. Did I check this area already? I can't remember. I don't want to read the notes yet. What? I can grab something by the bed. I don't know what it. What is it? Yeah. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. <sighs> I'm still edgy about the <laughs> run or the escape from what? Oh, I thought I could grab something from there. Okay, let's try reading the notes. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay, so this confirms it, I guess. <coughs> I'm sorry, sorry for the coughing on the microphone. Um, this confirms it that this is where we stay. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Ooh, that is truly interesting. Perfect. Okay, the crowbar broke. The key. Please let 
let it be here. Uh, mementos. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Hmm. Can't see it anywhere. Could I? Ooh, I can. I guess we can pull. Okay. No. We can only pull a certain. You better find a place to defend yourself. Oh shoot! It's him! We saw. You know, um, you can close the door completely, like that, but I chose to leave an open crack. I don't know if it could see me or not um, by doing that. Um, I guess not, since... Ooh. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Okay, so I did not choose to completely or close the door completely of the freaking what do you call this? Wardrobe closet so that I can see him. I'm not sure if he could have spotted me or anything. Uh, I just wanted to see him. If I died, I, I would, you know, basically just repeat it over. I just want to see his face and yeah or I want to show you guys his face because I have seen it of July 1839 it's done the orb is assembled I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare shaking and sweating I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea the relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay, so I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> I have seen his face before, um, the shadow, since I have played this game before. Uh, however, some parts of it, because games are pretty long, as you have known. Um, some part I don't remember, but that I remember because I was, I was pretty much scared of it when I was. Uh, first started playing it, you know. Yeah. Okay, so we have gathered the key to the machine room. And the light changes. I guess. I don't know. Where did it go though? And if you look um if you look up Amnesia, the dark set online, anywhere. YouTube, whatever, you will see his face. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, we're now in the study. I don't know what we're gonna do here. So, we have the key to the machine room. Now, we need to. S I don't know what do we need to do here in the study, but it leads me here. So, we have to go here, right? Letter regarding the discovery of the orb of an orb to my most trusted students and friend John Weyer the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Perusian woods this summer 
I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is unexplicable as a hilly <laughs> drum uh, describe it in the Portus Conclusus. Pretty hard words to read, right? It was as it is was told about an underground mystic temple crowned with unhearty artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. Uh, I was staying in the nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the antique trails when I finally found a cavern. I went inside and I suddenly and suddenly I couldn't verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life. But it is, it is also it has also become my greatest fear. As I've entered the underground the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the ore from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way toward a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued in my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the color of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. <clears throat> Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered the mur in murky water. And I pressed on through the drenched and land as the glow ember g gave away the, to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as, I, as pain and fear took over me. I fell to the ground grasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me. The last time we spoke, you told me. Okay. Last time we spoke, you told me your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Pretty long letters. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Are we hurt? No, all is good. So we have Ladinum that we can use if we got hurt. No oil. Let's continue. Press forward, please. Chest. Ah, one of the big chests. Tender box. There, is there oil here? Nope. Uh, if you remember, if you know this character, um, you're probably watching <laughs> the guy who made this game famous. Yep, this is the, um, he was the reason I really wanted to play this uh, game before. Um, he was playing so many um, modded maps, modded maps of Amnesia. So, uh, from what I've heard, this currently retired now i'm one i'm still watching some of his videos yeah okay 
Okay. What's happening here? A dog? Let's see what you have to offer. What a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Uh, that didn't sound pleasing. I don't know what's happening there. This chest, I can't open them. What's with the dogs? I hear heavy breathing. Ah. Wait a minute. Is this Alexander's study? Are we in his, you know, office? I'm pretty sure we are. Note. <sighs> Anatomy Frontiers. 1658 January 9. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielding yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense with it within it. I shall I shall pursue Pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill the void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I see, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less hassle to acquire. Okay, we have read a note that... Wilhelm's contract, I guess. Nope, 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 nope. Last words. So, in this note, Wilhelm is bringing Alexander human rights. In this one, Alexander is hoping that the energy that he wanted to get can be get from animals. So, this means that um, before deciding to be before deciding to get human you know human experiments he, he first tried on animals so I guess he's kind of kind in heart I don't know maybe not find another way around the rubble in the step he's not that kind he's still evil Another study. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello. Okay. How about throwing it? That works. Okay, I heard a tree that fell. I heard. I keep hearing dogs. Okay, I can't do make that jump. So I guess it's here. What is happening? Is that the tissue thing? Okay. How can I get in? Oh. Whoa! That 
was my bad. <sighs> okay, we're okay. We're inside. No worries. Elevator plants. I fell in the you know this space. I made the jump peacefully from there to here. What is this? Here. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa. I trusted you. It was who it was I who in all fairness should have entered the gate. Ah <sighs> some elevator schematics using steam power for elevation chamber controllers. So I guess this is where Alexander invented the elevator thing on the main floor uh, in this stage I guess I don't know so basically um, in summary I guess is the right term in summary um, we have collected some facts or little by little we're being introduced or we're being told the story of what happened on why Daniel is in this um, castle of Brennanburg and why he's here, who is Alexander, what is happening and maybe in time it will be given to us what is the reason why we need to kill him because as you can see he have killed a lot of men well, Ham and the others. <clears throat> we have the folklore surrounding the castle, the shadow. We've seen the shadow uh, by itself. Daniel, where he stayed, <coughs> sorry, in the castle. Um, the orb, what is the orb? We, we have so many questions and there's so many um, new things that has been introduced to us this episode uh, especially uh, the uh, very interesting uh, chase by the water monster which is n I'm not I enjoyed it uh, let, let's be uh, honest I enjoyed it however it's very scary still very stressful so I have to end this episode here uh, no worries else I will continue <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one bye